Hey everybody, it's Tamika. I'm back with the design team project for the Cutting Cafe. This week's design team challenge was to use um, Christmas trees and have fun with those. So we could use the Christmas tree set, the treat box, the goodie bag holder, the December daily, um, and also um, Christmas sentiment shapes. And of course I chose a 3D home decor project and used the Christmas tree, um, the 3D Christmas tree, just make it 3D by by itself as a standing fixture of home decor for the holidays. Here's some pictures because I'm at a bad angle here. Here's some pictures of my project. So I love how it turned out. It's super cute. The colors that I chose are cream and white. Um, like a t t tan cream white and then a hint of blue um, and I love how it turned out I chose to cut out the file um, in a cardstock on cardstock first lightweight chipboard actually then I traced it around dictionary paper several times until I got the fullness that I wanted of uh, for the tree and then I colored that with some um, chalk ink spray in white some lindy stamp gang for some shimmer i also went over with some gesso and some texture paste on all around my tree here and i'll just start at the top i have some seam binding and a ribbon buckle and flat back pearl in this little turquoise color i love um, how that looks these were little um clothes pins that were a penny let me try to find them here they were a penny at Michael's once upon a time. And they were just some felt clothespins. I just took the felt uh, star off because it had that turquoise diamond in the middle. And I love that. So I use those randomly throughout the tree here. And I just have it. I just have the tree a little standing on something too. Um, so we can get at least a better angle. You can see. I'm just trying to do this with one hand here behind the camera so all around here I have it on here love 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 I love that part that's not perfect gosh and that texture look at all that texture I love it and then I went over the tree with after that seam binding I crinkled all around added like little dots of hot glue so that the crinkles would stay formed how they are did that all the way around well three different spots and then I added um, some iridescent flat back pearls. I got that from the uh, Lizzie Jose Zibit shop. I'll put that link in the description box as well. And then I also added some pearls, some white string beads I got from Hobby Lobby. And then finally, um, if you can look down here, I have two doilies, a white doily and a cream colored doily that the Christmas tree is sitting on kind of to mimic a skirt. And then I have this blue little garland. I got those from a pick from Michaels and I have it going all throughout the tree. And I think that turned out so, so super cute. I love the shimmer. I wish you guys can see all this shimmer and shine. And it adds, it's a great home decor piece. It's really large. So you can see my hand here. And I just have it sitting on, I cut a cake stand out with my silhouette cameo. And then I added with uh, some lace around the edges and then uh, some other little trim that I had sticking up um, there so just to add something fun to that to hide like a tree skirt I guess I guess that's a tree skirt too but so yeah I really really like how this turned out you guys can turn you know almost any file into some dimension it's so super cute Regina has some awesome files awesome giveaways she have on Mondays and I just love this I don't know if you guys can see the shimmer in here brought to you by the Lindy stamp gang oh I also um after I got done with all of that I sprayed the entire tree um, in, in just certain just a brief mist with some spray adhesive and then sprinkled it with some Martha Stewart glitter so that's where all of most of the shimmer is coming from and Lindy's too but yeah I love it I love the texture on here very very cute very cute shabby chic 3d Christmas tree 
and hopefully you guys will um, check out the cutting cafe and let me know what you think guys like if you like it I love um, hearing what you, your thoughts are so um, maybe you'll try this later thanks guys for watching and bear with me um, through the video <laughs> uh, bye